Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Tiffany Bisson. I'm the manager of the Customer Experience Center based out of our Londonderry, New Hampshire Center of Excellence. I'm here and very excited to announce the latest member of the EFI wide format entry level production portfolio product, the EFI Pro 30H. It's a 3.2 meter or 126 inch wide hybrid printer equipped with the proven EFI LED curing technology. On this platform, we can run medias up to five centimeters in thickness or up to two inches and flexible roll-to-roll -roll media up to 10 feet wide and medias up to 400 pounds on the table. I'm so excited to share with you some of the new technology. Let's go take a look. Some of the really great exciting tech that we are using on the EFI Pro 30H has been leveraged from other products in our portfolio and from centers of excellence around the world. Let's take a look at media management. As you can see under our media transport tab, we have a zoned vacuum. This vacuum table is zoned into six individually controlled areas of the table that you can utilize as an operator to get the most sufficient amount of vacuum in the area of the table that you're using. Again, it's six individually controlled zones. So if you're running a narrower web down the center, you're not going to turn off the vacuum in the area that you're not using. You're going to funnel all of that available vacuum to the area of the table that your media is being loaded. Same holds true for sheets. If you're running smaller, narrower sheets, if you're only running on half of that width, you can funnel all of the available vacuum, 100% of that available vacuum power to the area of the table that your material is being loaded. Again, really, really efficient, operator controlled as you can see in the software, quick and easy adjustments on the fly, allow you to have better media management than some of the other products in the field. As you can see, this is also a completely enclosed printing system. It's gonna remove any opportunity for dust or debris to make their way into the print zone, potentially to the carriage or to your material. As we open the doors, you can see it's also very well lit. And you have really great, easy access to get in to do any sort of maintenance or service, any sort of press checks or anything like that. Really great, easy lighting and great access with those front open doors. Now, as I mentioned, a really key point in the development of this product line was improved media management. We talked about the vacuum zones. So we have right now a narrower web being run down the center. I have funneled the vacuum to this area of the table where we're gonna be printing. We've also introduced a media hold down bar in the front here, allowing the tails of sheets coming out of the print to be managed more, more appropriately than in previous models. Really, really great, well-received technology here as well. So we've spent some time talking about media management, improved media management on the EFI Pro 30H. Another really key focus area was manning, managing our drop placement and making sure that we have more consistent, more precise drop placement at those higher rates of speed. One way that we were able to do that was by leveraging the magnetic linear drive technology from our other centers of excellence around the world. It's going to be a much smoother travel of the carriage, removing any sort of vibration from the carriage um, that you might have seen in our uh, legacy gear and pulley systems. So it's gonna be a smoother travel carriage and it's also going to be a faster, more precise travel of the carriage. So your turn times, you're gonna be increasing your, your turn times because you don't have to worry about the inertia of the gear and pulley system slowing down and speeding up between passes. It's instant. And again, it's a proven reliable technology leveraged from our other centers of excellence around the world. In looking at the carriage, we have made several different advancements and changes to the carriage. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. As I mentioned, we're able to achieve a much smoother carriage travel, removing vibration, controlling that drop placement by leveraging the magnetic linear drive technology. In addition to that, we're able to achieve improved print quality because of some technology we've changed in the carriage as well. On the EFI Pro 30H, we have four color printing capabilities, standard CMYK, with two channels of white. On the 30H, you have two Rico Gen 5 print heads per color and two for each of your two channels of white for a total of 12 print heads. 
Utilizing the Ricoh Gen 5 print head, we now have the capability to print up to 1200 DPI to be able to achieve those really great high quality, high margin applications for your retail space, as well as utilizing some new technology in the layout of our colors for those really great big solid colors. What we've done over here is we have a symmetrical carriage layout for those CMYK colors. What that means is that irregardless of the direction of travel of carriage, we're laying down, the laydown order of your CMYK is identical regardless of the direction of travel. So you're laying down CMYK in this direction and then you're laying down the opposite of that in the return direction. So now you're laying down the colors symmetrically, giving you much smoother solids, more color consistent solids than we've seen in the past. Along with that, on the EFI Pro 30H, we've opened up additional layers for printing. On this platform, we now have the ability to print up to five layers in one time through the printer. That opens up many, many new types of applications, high margin applications that we previously weren't able to achieve in the past. Now with that Ricoh Gen 5, we are utilizing a seven picoliter ultra drop technology. So a very, very fine drop size, as well as variable drop you have the ability to utilize multiple different drop sizes depending on your end application. Again, that's going to ensure for much smoother skin tones, much smoother color transitions than we've seen in the past. One really special note is that EFI linearizes our white ink separate from our CMYK. So what that means as the end user is that there is no loss in print quality when you're printing with just white ink. You have all of that grayscale capability, as well as that seven picoliter drop available in that white ink channel as well. So no loss of print quality when you're printing with white ink only. And we have maintained that very well known in the market, super white, super opaque EFI white ink on this platform. One thing that we've also introduced on this platform, new to the, new to the product line, is the option for clear. So in line, you can replace one of your channels of white with a clear. So your color configuration can be CMYK, two channels of white, or CMYK, one channel of white, one channel of clear. That clear is utilized just like your white ink. So you can have a shape clear option, a shape varnish to um, accent any artwork that you're utilizing, or a flood if you're trying to have a high gloss finish on a high, high margin product. You can do that in line, treated just like your white ink. On the carriage, we have also maintained some of the proven technology that's been so successful for us in the past. We still have crash bar systems. We also have online static ionization to help mitigate surface static, give you really great edge definition, really great high quality type on some of those more problematic materials. So as we work our way around the printer, the next cabinet is going to be the ink delivery system. Again, you can see really quick ease of access, open up the door and you can have access to all of your ink delivery tanks. Some changes that we've made to the ink delivery system is that we have changed to five liter bottles, giving you more production time before you have to worry about changing out inks. As I mentioned, we're using five liter bottles, each of which for each color are RFID tagged so that you can scan the bottle to ensure it is the correct ink, the correct color, that it has not expired, and you're loading it properly into the printer. Continuing our journey around the printer, to get access to the serviceable items for the ink delivery system, you can see you quickly and easily open up the door and you have access to all of your pumps, your pump filters, and any sort of maintenance that you may need to do for that ink delivery system. Again, very quick and easy access for your operators as well as your service techs. Continuing our journey around to the back of the printer, you can see we have introduced a redirect roller. In this instance, I'm running just some standard PSA. If you were running something more challenging, maybe you're running flooring, multiple rolls of wallpaper, multiple rolls up across the table, you have the ability to raise and lower this redirect bar, allowing your operators to run the material over the top of this roller 
and then under the media roller. It's gonna help smooth out any troublesome edges. It's gonna help keep nice good tension coming in over the media roller and under our bar here, allowing for much improved straighter transport of those flexible materials, especially in the multiple roll up scenario. Probably one of our favorite additions is going to be complete touchscreen access on the back of the printer to start engaging your work. As an operator, it allows you a really great visual of what's coming up next, allowing you to stage different materials, as well as make any adjustments that you might need to on the fly. So for example, let's go ahead and start a quick print on our flexible substrate. I can come in here, I can make adjustments to my jobs, I make adjustments to my quantities, to my margins, I can engage print, I can do a series of test patterns from back here, as well as engage the vacuum. Keeping in mind, we have multiple zones. I can make sure that my zones are centered in the area of the table that I've loaded my substrate. Once I have deemed that all of that is appropriate, I can go ahead and start the print, again, on the load side of the printer. Once I say I want to engage the print, the EFI Pro 30H is going to prompt you. Do you want to set your carriage gap? You can go ahead and say yes. Again, you can do this from the back of the printer or from the front of the printer. Once I've established my carriage gap, it's gonna automatically do a media scan for me. From there, it's going to find the right edge of my material. It's going to automatically adjust my margins. And you'll see if you're running multiple rolls up or multiple sheets up like I'll be doing next, it will find multiple material edges and allow you to manage your images quickly and efficiently utilizing multiple image scans. This material will get moved into the print zone. My carriage is gonna raise up to its highest location. It's gonna drive over to a predetermined spot on the table. On the carriage, there is a small pneumatic pin that will lower. As it lowers, it will come in contact with the surface of my material. At that point, the gap is automatically set. The next thing that you're gonna see it do, it's gonna go ahead and do a scan, and then it's gonna start printing immediately knowing where the right edge margin is, as well as how wide my substrate is. What you're gonna see here is it's going to go ahead and print and carriage and shuttle only in the area of the table that contains print information. Those LEDs are instant on, instant off, and independent of each other. Again, a really great high efficient cool cure. This print mode here is gonna be the two pass mode. It's gonna be a nice, quick, efficient mode, giving you really great print quality for some of your outdoor um, applications, some of your wallpaper applications like you're seeing here. It's a really great mode to go ahead and show off the capabilities of the Pro 30H. So now that we've printed direct to our flexible substrate, let's go ahead and switch over to run multiple sheets of rigid material. Again, with controls on the back side of the press, it's very quick and easy to change over from my rigid to my roll substrates, as well as roll to rigid. I'm gonna go ahead and take up my excess material on the core here. I'm gonna use the screen on the back to go ahead and advance my material through the print zone to take off my excess material here. Once that material is through, I can go ahead and stop the movement. And all I have to do is attach my tables. So as I mentioned, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get set up to run multiple sheets across the web. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is let the software know that we're now running a sheet as opposed to a roll. One quick click here. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and lower your media fence. Much like other hybrid products in the portfolio, a fence will come down. You'll push your sheets up against the fence. I'll put a little bit of a margin in there so you can see the difference between the two. We'll go ahead and raise our fence. 
and we're going to do our media scan. What that's going to do is it's going to feed the material into the print zone and scan the table looking for both of our sheets. Front, again, you'll see the material is going to get fed into the print area so that the carriage can establish the gap. Right now the carriage is raising again to its highest location. It will drive over to a predetermined spot on the table. You can see my sheets are fed in right now. The carriage will lower, set the gap, and then it will engage a full scan of the entire table. At that point, it's locating the right edge of both of my sheets, as well as measuring how wide they are. And looking at the software, I'll go ahead and accept the width of the first sheet. You can see the sheets will be reversed back into the print zone so we can engage the print right away. Now, as I open up my settings tab, again, looking at the software quickly, you can see here I have media one width and the right edge location of media one. I have media two width, which is my second sheet, and the right edge location of that second sheet. That right edge information is important because that's where gonna, all of my margins are gonna be based from that right edge location. I'll go ahead and start the print. And you'll see the sheets will be fed through into that zero point again, and the carriage will image on both of the sheets that it had scanned and located on the table. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for spending some time with us today reviewing the latest entry-level production product for EFI, the Pro 30H. We know you're going to love it as much as we do. Take care.